So this talk is just a, a quick overview of some uh, modern C++ features uh, in a practical applications in order to uh, generalize and improve the design. Okay, so just a disclaimer. Uh, although this talk just have um, code uh, um, on, the, on the examples, uh, everything is actually compiling and it might be found on the Godbolt. Moving on, so let's dig in, in some features which I really like about uh, C++ 17. So we can actually do C++ reflection in C++ 17. Uh, and as I pointed out, uh, there is examples here have uh, uh, the use cases, but the implementation might be found at Godbolt and links will be provided. So with the C++ 17 structure bindings, we can do two tuple, which will allow us to uh, get the types and use them uh, in in a really uh, generic fashion. On top of that, we can use nicer interfaces with the tuples. So for example, instead of std get, we can use uh, more like a map interface with uh, UDL or even with the types uh, as well. So that improves our use cases for the how to use it. On top of that, uh, is anyone using Boost MP? 11 for the template metaprogramming. Some hands. Uh, with C++ 17, we can make it, with variable templates, we can make it much nicer than by default. As you can see here, we use a list, which is a variable template, and after that we pass it to a filter, uh, which just takes unique uh, foo pointers. <coughs> uh, so we same foo, and after that we transform it uh, Ah, sorry about that. So as you can see right now, if you want to have a un unique foo pointers, we have a list which is a variable template. We pipe it with render range style interface. We transform and we unique. So less angle brackets, much nicer. We can easily static assert this with operator equal. And you can find a link on Godbolt. Yet another feature which allows us to do more uh, TMP ni nicer is C++ concept designed by introspection. Part of it, not fully uh, yet, but you can see that we can have unnamed concepts with the requires class uh, expression here. And in, the, in our case here, if you have a foo which has an I, that will return 42. Otherwise, if you have a bar which doesn't have the I, it will return zero, but it won't be a, a you know, compilation error, a hard compilation error. So that's, that's nice. And the main thing to notice here is that we don't have to actually name the concept. You can find it on Godbull as well. Uh, one more thing which we can do is to implement testing frameworks in C++ 20 with no macros. So we don't have to, uh, you know, dig in uh, how to uh, actually uh, try to find uh, bugs and errors in it. And with the source location, we'll get the error which will show us all the information which we passed through uh, to our test case. And finally, with immediately invoked function expressions, we can, we can combine all those features together in order to, to do some crazy stuff. So assuming we have a lambda, we just sum some stuff using the fold expressions. We can get, uh, we can use tuple with a reflection to filter using the requires expression and range style uh, interface and unique them and pass them to, uh, you know, lambda which has this familiar template kind of lack of syntax, get the, and sum all the tuple arms. It's, so it's like std apply, basically. So when we do that, where we have foo, and we run it, then we will get the result as expected. So let's embrace 
postmodern meta C++. Thank you.